Hello, hello, everybody, and welcome to this week's episode. We were already getting started talking and having such a good time that I almost didn't hit the record button. But I wanted to bring you guys in on this because it's going to be good. So hi, Ivan, and welcome. Would you like to start out by introducing yourself? Yes. Hi, Shreen. I thank you so much um, for inviting me to your podcast. Um, it gave me a lot of inspiration in relating mm. to, you know, listening to what's normal for a sensitive person. Mm. Um, yes, my name is Ifan Nguyen. I am a fashion designer and a self image coach. Mm. So I help women. Um, I'll start maybe with where I'm originally I was doing before. So yeah. I was a bespoke bridal dress designer um, for a few years and mm -hmm. because working with clients one-to-one mm -hmm. -one, and I found out my passion is really helping women to be more confident mm -hmm. to really accept and appreciate themselves yeah. um, and use the 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 clothes the outfit as a tool to express themselves yeah. feeling confident and empowered in mm -hmm. what they wear and in their ability and show up for themselves mm -hmm. um so yeah this is what i do now i am coaching people to mostly and mostly female entrepreneurs mm -hmm. um who are their personal brand so yeah. they have to be um, even more so like to more of accepting and loving themselves mm -hmm. so they can feel they can cope with you know the, yes. the entrepreneurship yeah. up and downs and really solid and grounded in themselves mm -hmm. um, so less self-doubt and it basically is changing their self-perception mm -hmm. from maybe a lot of self-doubt feeling they're not good enough to uh -huh. Uh -huh. Um, feeling <laughs> that um, they are actually enough and always have been mm. so there's a lot of conditioning and especially with image like self-image and your how, yes. how you look what you yeah. wear we are bombarded with a lot of information and mm. we're conditioned probably from very young age to feel a certain way or to look a certain way so we can fit in so yeah. this is my job is to really bring people um to their trueness and uniqueness mm. and really appreciate accepting and loving it mm. uh, the true their, their true selves Oh, that's so beautiful. I really, really like that. And and what you just said started like a million thoughts in my mind. So I'll I'll see if I can, you know, pick up on, on all the good stuff. <laughs> Go on. Thank you. Um, first of all, I'm so happy that you're here because because of the way we connected on, on one of your posts. Because um, at first I was actually like, oh, self-image and how we dress. And so I was a little bit scared because, because to me that, that side of things feels very vulnerable. I always told myself that, that that's not my thing, partly because I'm taller than everybody and, and shopping for clothes was just never fun because nothing fit. And, you know, so I've always just tried to hide really. Um, but then you had this post about uh, how it's okay not to always have to hide our tummies, how we can dress in certain ways that, you know, fit us and make us look our best, but that it's okay to actually have a body underneath all the clothes, right? That's, that's yeah. actually natural. And, and I, I had this, you know, oh my God, realization that, you're saying the same things that that I always resonate with in posts and what I'm coming to understand more and more, but but from a different point of view. And, and I just like that when things come together and, you know, the little light bulbs go off. 
Yes. So I'm so um, happy that we connected and you agreed to be here today. And you too, yes. It's such an honor to be here and to chat about really the things to we just before we hit the recording button yes. <laughs> we yes. were talking about. It's that make things normal, like yes. normalize mm. that we are all individuals. We yes. have different looks and we are all so unique and this is true mm. and with so much conditioning mm -hmm. that from young age um we forget we forget what it it was like before all these layers piling on us like yeah. you should look thin you have no tummy you should look a certain way to look professional mm -hmm. like all sorts like we don't even realize sometimes applying these uh, perceptions yeah. onto ourselves. And so we start judging ourselves. Mm -hmm. So we are not thin enough. We're not slim yeah. enough. We're not pretty enough, not yeah. sexy enough. Yep. Whatever yep. that is yep. not yep. enough. We take all those boxes, you know, at one time or another because, yeah. Yeah. And then you get triggered when someone you know, you see someone online and yeah. someone looks, you feel like, oh, she's more pretty than me. Yes. She, her hair is glossier. Yes. Her teeth is what, so, like, so many things. It can be micro and yes. without, without we even picking up and being come mm -hmm. aware. Mm -hmm. So what I do love to help people mm -hmm. is really see themselves in a t completely different perception, see themselves yeah. as whole, as yeah as perfect as everything yeah. like with everything they have yeah. and to me beauty is absolutely from within yeah and and we are all beautiful even with even look at all bodies because i do life drawing as well i go to life drawing classes yeah. i used to do art in school mm -hmm. so i did a design course and and it just like i have the ability i think i have the super you what you call yes. it super <laughs> like sensitivity about seeing human body and really feeling the connection and feeling the beauty in it no matter what shape and what color whatever that is i just yeah. feel i love look at human body that the curves you know that mm. it's it's so beautiful i mean human in the form in the cre as a creature is nothing but beauty and this is to me i see everyone is beautiful and some people just go you can't possibly see everyone beautiful. some people are just not. i'm like but they have their own you know, who says yes. according to who who decide this person is not beautiful you mm. tell me yes is that a rule book or is that a standard by mm. who yeah who are we to to sort of yeah, yeah. question creation in yes, you know, exactly the beauty and the amazing ways of nature that that yes made us who we are oh absolutely oh. Mm. i could i could listen to you say that all day because because i can feel all those layers you know all those all no but i mean yeah sure we're beautiful except this or ex yeah. but but oh but oh, there's so much mm, goodness and truth and and beauty in, in what you're saying. I really like it. Ah, oh, um, thank you. It's really, I think, what, when we are talking about um, the truth and the beauty, I think people, a lot of times, we um, the things we don't like, say, for example, um, because you're holding yourself up against a standard um, mm -hmm. from magazine, from Instagram or whatever. And we kind of disown that part of ourselves, yeah. almost like yeah. put, okay, like you, like you said, it's interesting when you said, you know, oh, this is not me. I heard so many, yeah. my clients and people, women talking, oh, I'm not fashionable. I, yes. Fashion is not my thing. Like. Yes it's not me like i'm not creative like yeah. the, they, they come out because this is what limiting them this is yeah. what they were conditioned maybe mm. when they were younger they were criticized being about 
you know, like one of my clients, is it just these incidents will come out during my coaching sessions because yeah. it starts to become obvious, become they start aware, of, oh yeah, that happened yeah. at that time. Even they can pinpoint what age yes. and that happened and they don't even know realize mm. that's been carrying through they've yes. been living in their story yeah. for all this time so this is a bit i really love them we literally go smash their story and like yeah. they they stopped telling themselves they are not fashionable they're not beautiful they're not yeah. stylish or whatever they start living and embrace a new kind of identity almost mm -hmm. and embracing the their truth is they are yeah. innately beautiful. Like they're born beautiful. There's okay. there's nothing there's nothing wrong, absolutely nothing wrong with them. So I really love this part when you talk about beauty, and mm -hmm. when we start thinking that, um, you know, I am not that. It's yeah. not me. Like you you are, you are putting yourself in the identity someone else gave into you, yes. maybe in some stage of your life mm. so this is something it's always you can look back and have a think about yes, yes. why like why catch yourself thinking like mm -hmm. okay oh i'm i don't see myself beautiful today in the mirror and why is that what am i judging myself uh -huh. and why is that coming from mm. that what that might be linked to my earlier experience that feeling yeah so it's fascinating. I absolutely love um, talking about beauty and self-image and perception. Yeah. yeah, you're so right. And 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 I know that that talking to you just now that will, you know, set things in motion. That will, you know, start some thoughts. And and I also think that I. I have probably been moving a little bit in this direction because otherwise I'm not even sure I would have reacted to your post because there was probably a time where everything sort of fashionable I would just have you know taken a step back and, and moved moved around because I, I just couldn't deal with that so I think it's absolutely true because, um, well, one of my coaches um, told me that, that if people, people will only resonate with you when you are, when what you're saying is their truth. Yes. Yes. Because they, they, if it's not in them, they can't no. resonate with you. So no. what you no. said exactly is right because it, it, it was already your truth. It's just me saying it out loud you just saw yes. the post it's yes. because you never written it yourself but it's in you i was just saying it in a way and you just saw it and it's actually already before i wrote it it's all it was already your truth it's just my expression that yeah. at the time you picked up is that a matching what yes. what you have in you <laughs> i really like that you you shown a light on something that was sort of lurking somewhere in the in the shadows in there um and and you're so right and i think that's what what i want to do as well i don't want to you know go tell people what's true for them i mean i can't you no can't. no no you're right so you so i like doing this i like you know having people who who do know that their sensitivity is a superpower and have come to this place and then just tell that story, be that, you know, that example, like, like your post on Facebook that I came across that set some things in motion. And so, so this is the same thing. And if, if we are visible or audible, if we are who we are clearly enough, then other people can, yeah sort of reflect on that yeah. and 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 resonate with whatever and then move on if, yeah. if they don't so it's almost like a mirror to other yes. people isn't it yeah. you mirror what their maybe some thoughts and their truth which mm -hmm. is not it's not awareness it's not conscious yet but because you express it you brought it 
from their unconsciousness to consciousness yes. they start become aware mm -hmm. and then they can start working on it if yes. that's what they want to do so absolutely being visible and being our true self is mm -hmm. almost set an example that it is okay yes. and you know it is okay and it, it is great it's not just okay it is great yes. Yes. <laughs> to be your true self and uh, yeah just you just want to give people almost some people would need would want this permission almost yes. you know they, they see other people doing it and they feel mm -hmm. called to mm -hmm. do that themselves as yes. well which is beautiful absolutely and and i want to go back for a second to you said that you uh, were helping women with their wedding dresses and mm. finding the right one. I was thinking that that might be maybe the perfect place to start because what is more important than to be to feel beautiful and to feel whole and to feel yourself than on your wedding day, isn't it? Yeah. Um, it's actually from working on bespoke dresses because I've worked with people from size six to whatever the size, you know, the, the yeah. quite a big range of sizes. Mm -hmm. And for me, I, I never feel like um, the, the clients came to me, they all want something different. They want, yes. they are, they don't want to go to buy the off the shelf. Mm. and dresses and look like the same to everyone else yes. so they are aware they want to be different mm -hmm. and they just don't know how yes. they want to be seen different mm. and they know they're different but they just don't know how to how to get it so mm. that was me like acting in a way so we would um some clients would come to me have no idea like they had yes. no idea like oh i just want you know different dress <laughs> no mm, okay <laughs> yeah, okay um because they don't like anything they, they've, they've shopped and they've done all the other things so my job will be really sitting there like okay so you know tell me your story tell me your venue like where mm. you're gonna wedding's gonna be and how many get so that kind of gave me some ideas of what she likes yeah. what she wants to the environment and fit and you know just fitting yeah. in the if it's the romantic or yeah. more modern yeah. or simple or yeah. elaborate or yeah some yeah. really have like really small wedding mm -hmm. and i had a client who had a snow queen themed wedding mm -hmm. in um lapland okay wow yeah, so with reindeers and everything oh <laughs> so everyone have their own fantasy almost yes. yeah, yeah about the big day mm. so yeah it was it's it's such a joy and so special i feel like so privileged to be part of the creation process yeah. so we would looking for images, the colors, you know, the trimming, lace, mm. length, how the shape is going to go. And it's a quite a lengthy process. Yes, I bet it is. Um, yeah, but it's, you know, I tried my best to make it as enjoyable as possible. So it's mm. really about when you asking that question, actually, that never came to me. Oh. <laughs> it's, uh, it's, um, because I never thought that way. It's about drawing, like drawing the story within them. What's yeah. in there? I never thought about part of that wedding dress making in that way. Okay. So I'm more like because I'm doing styling and self image. That mm -hmm. is definitely like helping them discover what the style within them. But the wedding dress is almost like I was designing and making so and when i look back the initial process is actually exactly the same yeah. it's about talking to them understand mm -hmm. and know their personality what they like you yeah know? and yeah it's it's about getting to know them and mm -hmm. now i'm helping people to get to know themselves yeah. because a lot of times we don't 
we 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 don't know ourselves as as well as I they, we mm-hmm. think we are. Yeah. Sometimes, like oh, we know everything about ourselves. Sometimes we don't. It's it's the stories we have adopted yeah. almost that that we we think we know. Yeah, but I'm this kind of person. I'm I'm that kind yeah. of person. Yeah. Almost as like bland spots of yes, of yourself, so. and you, yeah. when someone is actually trained in this, and yes. they can spot straight away, yes, and make it much more focused and mm. easier to yes. see. And especially, I think that it really is a gift you have that you see people as beautiful because. I was talking to uh, a personal trainer not that long ago on the podcast and 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 she was like well I didn't love gym class in high school either and I was like oh my god really and and you know so if I were to have a personal trainer I would want someone like her who yeah. understands that it's not always easy and and the same thing you know, if I were to have to, to let someone into this space about style and, and fashion and stuff, I would only be comfortable with someone who who I don't feel judged by, someone where I feel like I can be seen for who I am. So to me, it really, really does sound like a superpower you have. Ah, oh, thank you. Mm. Thank you. Um, I'd like to think so. <laughs> <laughs> because it, it really helped me like especially I mean I have clients broke down during the sessions crying yeah, because yeah. Of the past experience yeah. someone said you know especially as a woman and mm. we when they were teenagers like even younger we got bullied we got judged by our look and how we dress it's like so so common and mm-hmm. a lot of times we grow up we have like say we have a business and we mm-hmm. just charge ahead yeah we kind of almost put that aside we try not to bring this up we are like you yes. know very masculine let's let's mm-hmm. get this thing done and do yes. this and do that do that and often i feel like that part of themselves that is still feeling not enough and still yeah. feeling judged mm-hmm. And can you imagine if that if we fully accept mm. and heal that part of ourselves, that the girl who was bullied and you know who was mm-hmm. judged and who was um, feeling so insecure, if we can heal that part of ourselves and mm-hmm. really embrace her, like make this inner child almost like feeling safe in in our own body the physical body we feel so safe and loved and held can you imagine what we do Mm. like yeah what we can have used this energy to take yes take our impact yes and business so Mm. much further because you set example that it is okay and yeah. how to you show up complete in a completely di- different energy instead of yes. hiding small put the, this in the shadow almost like a dark closet okay well yeah. I'm, yeah. I'm not pretty i'm not mm-hmm. i'm not that i'm not i'm not good looking or i'm not fashionable stylish or whatever yeah shut in the wardrobe close yeah. it and never look at it again yeah. and then just doing all the hustling and doing things but still because we can never, we can never truly block that out. No. It's always going to be there with us. Yeah. It's because it's part of us. Yes. And it actually requires a lot of energy to keep something Absolutely. sort of yeah. suppressed and yes. hidden. So, yeah. so I think you're so right when you say, imagine the energy that we can spend differently instead yeah. of going, holding on to that thing that we have yeah. to hide for right. yeah. dear life. Oh. Yeah. Oof, I yeah, yeah. You know. It's like, okay, I, I have a belly. And who yeah. says <laughs> my belly is not beautiful? Like yeah. according to who? Yeah. And to whom my mm. weight is a problem. Yes. Yes. Whether you are thin or I mean like from really thin to bigger size, yeah. 
or anything in between. Mm -hmm. There are eight billion people. Tell me who is the same size. Yes. I mean, don't get don't get me started with fashion sizing. Oh my god! I mean that I can stop sit there and talk all day long. Um, it's it's made up by yeah. Yeah. whatever, yeah. and it's, I think it's super important to let people know that when you can't find clothes that fits you, it's not your fault. <laughs> That's the first thing. It's not your fault. The sizing, the clothes they made up, is to fit dummy. Yes. It's yes, not because they have to shrink eight billion people into say ten sizes. Yes, yeah, and it's almost impossible. It, yes, yeah. we have longer torso, short torso, short leg, bigger yeah. boobs, <laughs> bigger yes. hips. You know, yes. all kinds. And yes, and in any imaginable you, combination, you <laughs> cannot possibly fit no. eight no. billion people into whatever the size, how many. No. sizes so always remember mm -hmm. and when the clothes don't fit you it's not your problem <laughs> <laughs> it's the manufacturer's problem they didn't make good mm -hmm. enough clothes for you so don't try to squeeze yourself into clothes no get it altered that's what i altered this is my yeah. like tip for people yeah. that because it's not your fault. Get it altered, make it more comfortable for you. It suits mm. you. Oh, that's, yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> that's a, to me, that's a brand new perspective, but I like it. <laughs> I really do. <laughs> so thank you. <laughs> excellent, excellent. Mm. And, and before we, we, we sort of end this, I would like to know, a little bit if you feel like sharing about your story how did you come to have the superpower how did you choose your line of work okay so i was not academically smart when i was in school mm. i was um yes i was the kind of student who lose interest like mm. In the classroom and later on i found out because i'm more visual yes and kinesthetic mm. I'm, I'm more different learning i have le different learning style than yeah. reading and writing and memorizing mm. i'm rubbish with memorizing things yeah. still <laughs> so just like when clothes doesn't fit me I'm not the problem, the clothes is. Maybe when school didn't fit you, yeah. school was the problem. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. yeah. Absolutely. Because not, to, to be fair, even now, this education system, it doesn't yeah. suit everyone. No, so no. There's no change. There's, there's nothing different there. Um, so for me, um, but I, I did quite well when I started um doing art and doing um designing mm. so i went i studied fashion design in, in university and did my you know management course after that in master degree but all this led me <laughs> um i actually i don't know i actually remembered one of the uh course I did in university when I was studying fashion design mm -hmm. it was um, fashion psychology so that was the oh. first time I yeah. was introduced it, it was a university like kind of module a course um, yes. at the time but there was a time I first got introduced and I was fascinated I was like oh my god there's so much more than yes. what we wear yes behind and even though i didn't start it further but that was always in my mind so yes. i was always interested and in found out what's the story behind this thing like for designer to mm -hmm. design their collection or whatever yeah. i'm always interested in what's behind their thinking creativity and for now is like okay what's your style story what, yeah. what do you want to express? What's your life experience? And you want to reflect outside your vision. Mm -hmm. um, 
so I am very much visual person. Mm -hmm. So for me, this is a superpower, like, um, and I found my superpowers be able to see. So for example, mm -hmm. if I go to a fabric shop, mm -hmm. I would just looking at these and touching these fabrics and drape them. And yeah. I can just see pictures, like mm -hmm. see what I can create with this piece of fabric. So mm -hmm. I, I have that almost a vision which I can visualize. Yes. So designing the wedding dress for clients as well, I can visualize them in certain, yeah. like I can, when we start talking, I already in my head, I would have certain design ideas just, mm -hmm. just start popping up. So that for me is my visual sensitivity, maybe yes. you can call yes. it. Um, I can just see it. Mm. Like I can see people, they probably harder to picture for me mm -hmm. is it just easy come to me. Yeah. So it feels like, and I enjoy doing it. So when yes. clients uh, say, Oh, I don't know. I don't know whether I can pull that off. I don't know how mm -hmm. these two put together would look like. And I can almost like just in my head, I can put things together, piece together before mm -hmm. actually shoes got on. Or, you know, yeah. so this, this is a part, I think it's my gift. And yeah. also I use, uh, I'm in terms of emotions, mm -hmm. um, quite sensitive. So coaching clients when they have emotions that relating to their mm -hmm. self image yeah. in the past experience, I was able to, I'm always able to hold the space mm -hmm. and validating their emotions. So I can sense almost as intuition to feel the emotion come up mm -hmm. that they start seeing it, like they start yes. connecting right i feel that i can't wear this is because ah yeah. yes i see ah oh, there was that, such and such happened such and such years ago yes. or my mom said something or my school friend said something yes and that to me is also like i'm very much um cultivating my own intuition mm. almost like yes. to be able to spot these things and really being a listener mm. to help them to bring things up feel safe yes, yes. feel safe to feel it mm. because so much as a woman we just press suppress it don't we like or bypass oh, yes. it oh yes we're good and at that we're very good at that <laughs> and yeah. it's it's amazing to be able to hold the space and go right let's let's have a look yes what's in that and then mm. why that happened and how can we how can we turn that into power instead yes. of disempowering you like yeah. think about that thing you it's disempowering you mm -hmm. how can we do better how can we make it even better like mm. even more empowering for you Ooh. so <laughs> <laughs> oh, that it does sound so powerful. And especially because I'm getting this sense that, yeah, as you say, oh, let's look at it and let's turn it into something great instead of, oh, let's find all your issues and then solve them. It's like, oh, I'm already no, dying no, on no. the inside. But, no. but the sort of the curiosity and the lightheartedness and the, it's not actually as bad as we think. So let's get it out in the light and then yeah, play with it exactly. and see what we can do. And Yeah, yeah, ah. cur exactly. Curiosity. And maybe because my training visual or art side of thing, maybe yes. I, I, tend to connect more with creating be, mm -hmm. being more creative like yes. with that thing maybe yes. some people can be so logical mm -hmm. um some client can be very analytical and logical about things yeah. but maybe my thing is let's you know like when you are doing drawing yeah. let's turn from a different angle let's look at mm -hmm. in a different perspective mm -hmm. and see what it look like yeah and maybe there's a possibility how you can interpret it differently. And that tells a different story. Mm. That's more empowering story yes. rather than disempowering you and make you feel not so great about yourself. 
-hmm. So it's really it's perception, it's perspective from art and visual point mm. of view, creativity point of view. So yeah, it's it's so good. I love it. <laughs> yes, 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 yes. And um, I hope you will share your links with us so we can put them in the in the show notes so that people can reach out to you and hear more and help get a look at their stories and how they can turn it around. Yes, absolutely well. I definitely will. Thank you so much, Trin. Thank you so much for being here. I have enjoyed this and I can't wait to see what's going to sort of percolate and pop up for the coming days. You might be hearing from me sooner than you think. Oh, that will be amazing. Yes, I really enjoyed chatting to you. Honestly, it's been an honor. And I think the work you do is so, so important. And just making sensitivity, making everything about ourselves as normal. Yes. We're just normal people we are not yes. different we are we are different but yes, we are normal but, it's just normal yes, yes, to be different yes, yes and to embrace it thank you so much for helping me share that message and and by 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 being an example and sharing your story and so i think that that is healing in itself like what you do help people to be okay with who they are in in a different area but i think we have many areas so the more yes. <laughs> more areas we can get around to being whole and who we are Absolutely. the more the more of us can sort of shine through i think yeah so. i think when we start really being whole, like you said, you know, mm. spiritual, emotionally, mentally, physically. Yes. So this, my, my, what I do is physical as well, emotional, yes. like yes. there's some connection with that. Yes. And um, yeah, so I feel like if we can really accepting and loving ourselves, mm. truly, mm -hmm. like mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so 100%, yes. and we can love others so much better. This is what I see, how it's going to change the mm -hmm. world. Because when we start fully embrace who we are, because if you mm -hmm. are hiding, you will, in a way, judging others. Yes, yes. That's, that's, that's just unavoidable, I think. Yes. To me, that's true. Because when I start, really start the journey of accepting myself, loving mm -hmm. myself, I see everyone's beautiful. I yes. accept everyone. Yes, yes. Whatever this, I'm like, that's okay. And that's okay. That's okay. Because I know how important it is to be validated by mm. our, for ourselves. Yeah. By ourselves. And once we can do that to ourselves, it's so much easier. And we go mm. out to the world and you see the world completely in a different light. And that's what I want for everyone. Mm. that will be a much happier place for all of us i have nothing to add this is just such <laughs> a beautiful place to end this so thank you so much okay Trey. <laughs> lovely speaking to you you too